Hey YouTube, what's going on guys? Been a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys today how to make a knife out of a glass bottle. I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer stone and break it. I see there's already snap going right through the middle, so I'm gonna break it through the middle. Okay. Slightly tapping the glass to get rid of it. Grind wheel from Home Depot. Gonna grind the edges to give it a place to, for the flakes to run so my tool catches them. Alright. Now, what you're going for is a flat piece of glass which is sometimes pretty difficult to do. All right. See that curve in it? You gotta get rid of that curve. Um, I'm gonna try something different on this one. I'm not gonna use my usual method. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to hit here first, in this corner. I'm just taking a steep flake off so that I have a spot to hit. You're going to want to do this on leather. I'm not going to, just so I could show you what I'm doing, but do it on leather so you don't cut yourself. Or wear a glove, better yet. I'm going to try to shoot a flake along this surface here like that these are very 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 sharp and I'm gonna continually do that to try to thin this out and make it straighter I'm just gonna zigzag a tiny bit give myself some more room here. I'll try to go right here again. See what I'm doing here? One, two, three. And if you look, it's going to thin this section out. This side is pretty flat, a little curved. This is still very curved here, so we're gonna have to thin this too. Take your time with glass. It's easy to mess up glass and snap it in half. dug in really deep there so come in the other way it's still pretty deep right here that is dangerous it might be 
it might come to making a knife like that. We'll see. See what happens. Just kind of tapping it into shape. All right. Got a nice platform right here but it's super thin right there. So we gotta be careful. And I'm very lightly tapping. We don't wanna break this. Usually I really, really hit hard, but I'm not going to for this one. Just gonna continually tap it into shape. Edge a little bit. Same thing on both sides. Just straightening it out. I'm thinning it a little bit. This tip is a little, a little towards one end that I don't like. So we're gonna try to fix that. All right, grind the edges again. smaller one should give me a little bit more control. I got to get rid of some of this thickness here so I'm gonna lay it down that way and try to remove some of that. Getting there. I'm gonna grind as well as the sides. All right, for the base, this is dangerous gonna really try to support it. It might break. We'll see. Tuck off that. And then I'm gonna aim on the side, shooting up that way. And that thinned it a lot. That is excellent. All right. So I got flakes all across this side. I gotta put some on this side too. So I'm going to grind the opposite direction downwards. And then do the same thing, flip it over the other way and start thinning it from this direction. Now a lot of you are going to want to switch to uh, pressure flaking here.
what I'm gonna do is right, switch so under my leg. This is tipped with copper and a moose antler. So for indirect, you're doing the same thing as pressure flaking, but you're doing it by hitting rather than pressing. But it's the same concept. Hit there. There we go. Just shaping and thinning here. Do the base, the base is dangerous. Just to thin it a little bit. Don't want to do that too much. Have the basic knife shape now. This will work as is. Just make it a tiny bit thinner. We got it nice and shaped now. Going to pressure flake it just a little bit, just to sharpen it up and to put some notches in. For this, I have a deer antler with a piece of copper just pressed in, no glue, no, no nothing. Leather. And same thing, in and down. Like that. And this is just sharpening the edge. little tiny flakes. Both sides. Up and down the whole piece. See how sharp that is? You can see how sharp that is. All right. So this will definitely cut very gently cutting there just to show you if I did it stronger it would go right through cut that whole piece off this very 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 sharp so what I'm gonna do is uh, put a few more flakes in that and then I'm gonna put some notches in so I could tie it to a handle for the notches I don't press in and down I press down and then in so watch here down in and it should pop off a little bit of a cone see that If you look at the flake, if you look at the flake, you can see it has a bump. That's what you're looking for. You don't gotta go crazy doing too deep there.
And I just want to thin the base a little bit. For glass, if you're going to use it, you're going to want to keep the base and the middle a little thick because if you apply any pressure on glass trying to cut, it's likely to break. So what you want to do is you want to thin the base a little bit and then grind it smooth. Okay. And there is a nice little knife blade. I will put that on a handle and show you what that looks like in a minute. A groove in to a stick right off the ground here. So I just cut a groove out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the glue. You could use pine pitch, you could use epoxy, you could use wood glue. Put it in the notch. A little bit on the outside too to secure it. that. Let's, let's do a little more. Just a little bit. Okay. Like that. We're going to take the knife blade. Just press it in. See which way fits best. Do it that way. that sit and dry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sinew. So I'll be right back with that. Let that dry. Wet sinew, deer tendon. What I'm gonna do is take the knife, and start wrapping it with the sinew. Now the sinew should stick to itself. Got a really effective glass primitive knife here. Works way better on a handle for cutting. Could even use it on meat. Just be careful not to get these glass shards in your mouth. I like to use chert for my knives because it doesn't, doesn't leave little flakes of glass in your food. But if you need a knife and you happen to find glass, because glass is everywhere, this is how you do it. You don't need a very fancy handle, don't need a large handle. Just some cordage, some glue. You can make some primitive pine pitch glue. And I will be making a video on how to do that very shortly. And you wind up with an excellent little knife. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That is it for me. It's still early in the day, I think I'm gonna go hike I'll see you guys soon. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys soon. See you guys.